Welcome to Women Entrepreneurs Radio. I'm your host, Deborah Bailey. And when I started this show in 2008, I was on a mission to promote women-owned businesses and help women succeed by providing resources and valuable tips from other women and men, small business owners. In each interview, my guests speak openly about their triumphs, the scary times, and tough decisions they had to make along the way. Women Entrepreneurs Radio is about showing women how to harness their natural strengths to achieve success on their own terms. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Women Entrepreneurs Radio with your host, Deborah Bailey. And I'm really glad that you could join me today. And if you're listening to this on Podomatic, you can also find Women Entrepreneurs Radio on iTunes, which is now uh, Apple Podcasts, I believe. So you can go on there and search for the show, Women Entrepreneurs Radio, and subscribe. And also, I really hope that you will leave a review for the show because that will always help the show to be found, uh, particularly on iTunes. So if you're listening through some other third party way, um, it'd really be great if you can get to um, iTunes and leave a review on there because that is really very helpful. And also you can come to women entrepreneurshakers.com, which is a blog uh, that goes along with the show and you can click on the podcast uh, link in the menu bar. And you can also see different, um, platforms this show is on it's distributed to like linkedin and youtube and different places so that could be something else you could check and listen in if those other platforms are good for you and the older shows are also being distributed to live soon and they're going to those other platforms as well because uh as you may know if you're a long-time listener this is a 10th year for the show so just uh, have a lot of uh, older shows and I've talked to many other entrepreneurs and also sharing those as well so little by little those are moving off of the old platform which is blog talk radio and moved on to live sin so that they can be available so I hope you will listen to those shows as well as I said the links are there uh, if you go to women entrepreneurshecrets.com so hope that you will do that too so right now I'm going to introduce my guest for today. And Sharon Levy is also known as Lady T, the certified tea consultant, CEO, and founder of Taking Tea in Style, a lifestyle tea boutique who uses tea as a means to connect people. And Sharon is passionate about bringing civility back into society. As program director, she creates empowering and engaging social tea gatherings and workshops where individuals come together to learn and celebrate each other. Her goal is to create a healthier and culturally savvy society where individuals are more open-minded, respectful, and compassionate towards each other. And these programs are enriched by her certification in tea education by the Specialty Tea Institute, a division of the Tea Association of the USA. And she comes from a diverse corporate background, working as a project manager, IT consultant, and executive assistant for companies like American Express, AT&T, IBM, Merrill Lynch, and UBS. And as an entrepreneur, she finds time to volunteer in the community and believes it is essential to give back. And she currently volunteers as a board member for NJCA. SA, which is New Jersey CASA, project coordinator for New Jersey Cares, and it's several nonprofit organizations. So welcome to the show, Sharon. I should say welcome back because you have been a guest before. So I'm really glad to have you back today. Yes. Thank you so much for having me again, Deborah. It is a pleasure to to have conversations with you about entrepreneurship, especially for women. So thanks yes. for inviting me back on the show. Yes, yes, and also um, I just want to be sure that you mention to everyone that you have a TV show. So please, uh, you know, before we talk a little bit about, uh, you know, your your recent uh, activities and, and wonderful things that have been happening, if you could just mention also to folks where they can find uh, find your TV show. Oh, yeah, so my show is called Conversations with Lady T where we actually bring on entrepreneurs to talk about their journey, but we also bring on 
nonprofit to talk about what they are doing in the community because I am a philanthropist and I think it's such an important thing for individuals to go out and give back in the community. It really makes the world a better place when we all are chipping in to helping out. Um, so the show is this amazing and then Deborah has actually been on my show when I first started <laughs> and it can be listened to online at www.princetontv.org but also in some areas you can listen to a Comcast 30 and Fios 45. Oh, that's so. wonderful. Yeah. And also um, the shows are also on Vimeo. Um, so those people yes. who may have those accounts and go on there for different videos and things, you can also see the shows on there. So um, I hope that you will check that out. And I believe that Princeton uh, Community TV was also on Roku um yeah so yeah so that's also you've got a, a box i know a lot of people have uh have cut the cord <laughs> to cable i know <laughs> that's true you know so there's many ways that you can check out the show and yes it was wonderful i i was on there and um you know really enjoyed it and i actually have a link on my blog uh, uh actually my website dbillycoach.com where, um, you know, I was there with another author. We were talking about some um, very interesting topics. So that's something you could see a clip, um, you know, on my site as well uh, about that. But um, definitely check out her show because she has so many uh, wonderful guests on there. And it's really always good conversation. So um, I hope that you will do that. But really want to talk about your recent <laughs> achievement where you were in a competition and you came in in the top, I believe top three, was it? You could just, you know, let me not just <laughs> try to remember yep. everything because it was just so, so exciting to see what was going on. But please share with us what this whole experience was about. Oh, yeah, this was just an amazing time. Oh, my goodness. Um, so SCORE and Sam's Club every year does this um, small business competition. And a few years ago, actually, one of uh, our mutual friends, Kim, who was the jam lady, won, uh, I think, in 2012. And at the time, the amount wasn't as much as it, as it is now, but she was mm -hmm. one of the um, runners-up for that competition. And so I know that the, this competition was happening every year, but I don't always participate. Mm -hmm. But I have a wonderful um, friend who is also an entrepreneur, that saw this and she sent it to myself and another good friend of mine who was also an entrepreneur. And so all three of us did apply for this. And so just leading up to it, I'm not really a person that likes to, you know, I feel like I, I'm bothering people every time. Oh, can you vote? Can you vote? Because, you know, people <laughs> are so busy. Mm -hmm. But I know in terms of today with entrepreneurship, you know, sometimes this is the route you have to go. You have to enter these competitions that's going to help your business to grow you know, going to the traditional way, going through banks, sometimes a little bit more tricky and you have to have your um, T's crossed, your I's dotted, whereas mm -hmm. these competitions, it's not, you know, like that. It's a little bit easier to just get money. Mm -hmm. um, and not that it's really totally easy, but, you know, <laughs> having to push people to to sign up and, and like your, your um, thing in terms of voting it is a lot of work, but it's still easier than going through a bank, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I always encourage people to do that. So I said, okay, you know what? Since I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it all the way. So every day I was like reminding people, I'm like, hey, Deb, don't forget, vote. If you can vote, <laughs> you know, you can vote, you know, once a day. So I just made sure I knocked on everybody's door, call them, email them, and just said, please vote. And so what was happening is this is something across the country. So we were up against 1,100 other entrepreneurs. Wow. In New Jersey, I believe we had like 46. Mm -hmm. So they were selecting two or three from each state. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, you know, when I saw how many entrepreneurs were, you know, signing up in New Jersey, I was like, oh, my goodness. And so every day I'm looking to see how many votes and I'm seeing, you know, companies catching up. And I'm thinking, well, are they going to pick it just on the voting? And that's mm -hmm. what I thought. Mm -hmm. But it was four people that had the top four votes in New Jersey. Um, but it ended up they selected three of us and one that had like the highest votes didn't win. So we were like, wow, 
Mm-hmm. So that's when we realized it really wasn't all just about the voting. It was probably other things too. Mm-hmm. So they did think that, you know, my company and the other two companies were also unique in what we are offering. But the best part of this was my girlfriend that also entered, mm-hmm. she also won. So oh, it was amazing wow. mm-hmm. going through this journey with a good friend who won. That's like usually unheard of. Usually you don't have right. good friends winning together. So mm-hmm. it was just amazing, Deb. You know, we booked our trip. We were at the same hotel. We had a different room because this trip, what they did was they selected 102 out of the 1,100 across the country. Mm-hmm. And out of the 102, we all had fully paid hotel airfare and training in Reno, Nevada. So wow. that was very exciting. That's the first part mm-hmm. of this competition. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just amazing, you know, going out there, meeting all these uh, 100 other entrepreneurs across the country. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're sitting in the same room with them and hearing their journey and their story and what they're doing. And it's like, wow. Mm-hmm. So it's so many connections that we made over there. And the training itself was just, it was so worth it. Mm-hmm. We had some serious um, facilitators that did things from marketing, from you know leadership, from volunteering, um, email, telling you the importance of email, which by the way, I kind of stopped doing my email marketing for a minute. Mm-hmm. And now I'm seeing, okay, it really is important to do that. Even though a lot of people are texting and doing other things, mm-hmm. they said that email, people are still checking it and it's still like almost second to texting mm-hmm. and stuff like that. People are still checking email. So it really mm-hmm. is important to do the email. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, wow. you know, it, it, wow. it just was amazing that the people, you know, I'm still like in awe. <laughs> just the people that we met, but the the facilitators, they were just amazing, really mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. Score just, you know, stepped it up. The food was great. We were stayed at a casino, so we went downstairs and they had live <laughs> music and a little gambling too. And you know, the food was good every day. Kind of kept us full, a little bit too full. <laughs> But, you know, it was a great, great experience, and I'm so psyched still about it. But the real work starts now that we come home. Mm-hmm. Um, so the other part of the competition is they're going to select out of the 102, three entrepreneurs to win $15,000 each. Mm-hmm. And so I've already claimed it. I've already spent it. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, you got to put it out there. Right. And that is mine. Right. You know, I agree. Um, the, yeah. So even though there are some other fantastic businesses that are also unique, because I know they are looking for businesses that are also unique. Mm-hmm. But what they want to do now, how they're picking the um, the winners, is how much social media or how much media coverage you're getting, how much are you growing your business, how much are you are you using what you've learned. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to be looking at all of that. So I make sure every time I put something out, even if it's an event, if it's if it's my family, I'm putting mm-hmm. down my little score. I, you know, I'm a winner. I put mm-hmm. it down with everything. Yeah. Because, yeah. You know, they're watching you. You got to hashtag. You got to really do all these things. Right. And I'm really trying now to what do whatever it takes for me to win this fifteen thousand mm-hmm. dollars by growing the business. You know, all of those things are just as important. And they're going to do it based on a formula because, of course, businesses, you have all kinds of sizes in terms of small. You have mm-hmm. some people that might have 100 people working for them. Some people might have one. Mm-hmm. So they have a formula that they're using to make a decision with all those different aspects that I just mentioned. Mm-hmm. So I got to mm-hmm. make sure I stay on my P's and Q's <laughs> and do everything and more. <laughs> mm-hmm. And when are they going to, I guess, make a decision about that? I believe um, at the end of July mm-hmm. or early August, but mm-hmm. I know they will be presenting it um, in Washington D.C. in September. Oh, okay. So mm-hmm. yeah, so I just have a you know I have a couple more you know like a month and a half or so to go to really do it. But I've already grown the business. I've already had some some contracts since I came back, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm trying to get mm-hmm. on more 
um, television, radio. So if anybody's out there listening, you got a radio <laughs> show, you got a television show, call up, you know, take and see and style Lady T. <laughs> I would love to be on your show too. <laughs> exactly. Gotta put it out there. Well, you're I'm right about winner. that. <laughs> yeah. You know, you gotta put things out there in the universe. You really do. You gotta, you know, pray to your God or the universe, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't put it out there, it's not going to happen. You got to talk about it. You got to smell it. You got to walk it. You got to, you got to dream it. You got to speak it. Every aspect Mm -hmm. for it to come to fruition. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe now. Well, you, you have an excellent point. And I know that, you know, we have talked about this before and, um, you know, um, we've both seen uh, the secret <laughs> many times yep. and, and read it and all, all that kind of thing. And, and, you know, you are so right that you have to put yourself into that place mentally um, and emotionally, because otherwise it's just not going to come together for you to be able to have the, I guess the mental and emotional um, toughness, that you have to have to be able to have yeah. your business and, and to grow it uh, because just in talking with other entrepreneurs and everything about being in business, you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, it's so simple. I could just do one, two, three and follow these steps and poof, I'm going to have a business and make all this money. But what I think a lot of people don't know and what I always emphasize on this show when I talk to people is to let people know that yes, you're going to have to really have a certain mindset and determination to do it because it's not the straight line that maybe people tell you it is. Right. You know, and every business is different. Some businesses might after a year make a lot of money and other businesses won't. It's not yeah. the same for every business. You have some technology companies that come today, they make their millions and then they're gone. Mm. But sometimes it takes years. I mean, I know people that have been doing it for 15 years. They're still not millionaires. Right. So it really depends on each business. And sometimes people might have, you know, the team of people that they need right now. And some people will take a minute for them to get the right team for it to then take off. Yeah. But, you know, it's just being determined and passionate. Again, you, everybody needs to get paid. We all have to eat. Mm-hmm. But you have to have the passion, the determination, the drive you know, the mindset to be successful and it's knowing that it, it might not take you, you know, a year or two, it might take you longer, but you just, you know, just have the patience because you definitely have to have patience <laughs> as well as everything else that I just mentioned. Right. Yeah. You definitely have to have a lot of something. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to have a lot of something because it's not, it's not just going to be, well, I'll just do this thing and then poof, here it comes, you know, it's, It's not that way for those people who are maybe believing that because they've been told that by other people who are trying to sell them something. It's not like that because we're less and we'd all be doing that. (laughs) Right. For the majority of people, it's not. Like I said, the one or two may have been lucky to their, their business has taken off right away. But for most of us, it's not like that. Right. It's not. And even if it does take off, you really have to do the work to maintain that or deal with maintain. the situation. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, maintaining is it. Yeah, maintaining. Maintaining is even harder. Yeah, and growing and and going along with the changes that are happening. So what you maybe what you did before is not what you can do later, you know, so. There's always a lot that has to be thought about and done, and and you really have to have a different mindset if you are going to continue um, to grow. So I think you know all that is very very important. And I know as far as uh, social media marketing, um, you know I've recently done a show about that, and you know we're just talking about all the different changes coming on with you know Facebook and. Twitter, I think, is is launching some kind of change and all kinds of stuff happening. It can be very, um, very challenging to do all this marketing and have to be juggling all these things. And, you know, you've had your show. Uh, do you feel that that has been a real um, good way for you to, to get out there with your message? Well, you know, let me be honest. So when I first started the show at the 
at the Princeton Community Television, you really weren't allowed to push it as um, part of your business. Mm -hmm. um, so now I would say like in the last year, because now I think this year has been almost three years for me. Mm -hmm. So it's really the last year where you can do it kind of indirectly. So mm -hmm. I haven't really totally tied it in to my business. Certain, certain subjects I have, mm -hmm. but this year I am trying to do to make it more focused on some of the things that I do. But, you know, it, it started out more entrepreneurs coming on the show, uh, nonprofits coming on the show. But now I'm actually trying to have some shows where I'm talking about things like tea wellness, since that is part of what I do, and yeah. also the diversity and culture, which we actually had a show, our first show this year, for diversity and culture for, like, the Chinese New Year. So I am mm -hmm. this year really trying to kind of reinvent, you know, conversations with Lady T to be more about my business, but still trying to bring in, you know, entrepreneurs on there as well. But I'm just mm -hmm. trying to, you know, redo it a little bit different this year, but more focusing on taking Tea and Style's initiative and mission. Right, right. And that sounds like a great um, way to do it because then that gets gets you out there and people can know what you're doing at the same time that you're talking to other entrepreneurs coming on the show. And also you, um, you know, I've been doing some uh, signature events as well. Do you want to share some of those that you've been uh, doing? Yes. Um, one of the events that we're actually doing on Saturday, um, since, you know, our Prince uh, Harry and Meghan are getting married, we are doing a royal tea wedding watch on Saturday. There is a new French bakery that just opened up. Uh, it's a woman, an African woman. And so a bunch of us ladies found out about the space and said, you know what, let's help her to get her space recognized because she just opened up in November. Hmm. And so I think it's so important for us as women when we see that to embrace and help others. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just a perfect blend since she does desserts and I, you know, she does the scones and things like that. I have my tea, so it was a beautiful space. So we said, let's, you know, start doing some events. She's already uh, ordered teas, and some of my teas will actually be featured there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great partnership. And I think everything today, we should look at making it into a partnership where both people are going to gain something from it. So mm -hmm. the event that we're doing on Saturday, it's going to be 6.30 a.m., and we are going to have some fresh baked scones from her, with some clotted cream and jams and fresh fruit, and of course my delicious teas. And we will watch the royal wedding there in the morning at 6:30. Uh, so the <laughs> name of the cafe is Les Delices at 3010 Route 27 in Kendall Park. Uh, so just you know, give us a call at 844L. Sorry, 844. 4 L U X T E A for your tickets. It's only sixteen ninety five. Come on down with your family and friends and watch this um, historic event with us in this beautiful space. Mm hmm. So yes, that's one of the events that we're going to have. And that's that's really uh, a you know wonderful idea. And you know when when all of you folks are listening to this, you may uh, be hearing it after the fact, but definitely. Keep that place if you're in the area on your radar because I'm sure there'll be other events there as well coming up. Uh, so definitely, uh, you know, don't be discouraged <laughs> if, you, if you're listening to this uh, after the fact. And also, you know, since podcasts are, are going to be out, out there indefinitely, you may be listening to this at some point and you're like, wow, you know, I missed that. But, you know, you can always visit that venue and um, see what they've got going on or perhaps have something there of your own but you know i think that's a wonderful point you made Sharon, about people coming together and you know forming partnerships and trying to do different things because that helps everyone when you when you can make that connection with someone else who may have something that you can use and they can use and, and everybody can can really be together right you have two winners right there um and right. then another event that i'm thinking about doing there is called Tea delicious happy hour. So mm -hmm. I, even though I do drink some wine and I love my tea though, but there are, there are a lot of people out there, right, Deb, that are not drinkers, but they go out 
for a happy hour with their friends and they are drinking, you know, maybe some sparkling water or some juice and they don't really have, you know, a space where mm-hmm. they can go and feel even more comfortable not having to drink wine and things like that. So with our tea delicious happy hour, we're going to be having iced um, teas and hot teas and just all kinds of infused teas and that you can have a nice space where we're going to have music, we're going to have games, we're going to have conversations, we're going to have like little bits of food here and there as well. And if you want anything extra, you can also buy from her. So that's mm-hmm. going to be another space that we're using. And we're going to actually kick that off in June. We're mm-hmm. still deciding on which Friday, but we think we would like to do it on the happy hour on a Friday. Mm-hmm. And, you know, but so stay tuned for that. That's something you can look for on my website and my social media pages, as well as the Les Delices um, cafe as well. So mm-hmm. stay tuned for Tea Delicious happy hour with taking tea in style <laughs> well while you mentioned your your site and everything please share with everybody uh your website and, and social media where they can find you okay so on instagram it's lady t tv on facebook it's also lady t tv and then we also have our twitter it's taking t1 yeah, so those are the different sites that you can go. And then my website, like I said, is www.takingteainstyle.com. Taking Tea in Style. You can find Sharon, and, and definitely if you go to her website, of course, you know that's another way for you to find find out more about her and what she's doing. You know, for those people listening, if those of you who have a business or or thinking about it and and maybe you're not so sure about social media, you know, you really have to have those things in place because so many people are looking at that to see if you're really, um, you know, doing your marketing that way. I mean, that's true also in book publishing. I had just submitted something for a, um, for a retreat and they were like, well, the authors have to have a website and they have to have social media. And this, uh, retreat was probably a little bit more on the literary side, so, but I'm just, you know, I just ended it just because. But they're like, hey, you have to have these things. So if you're someone who's reluctant right now to really put those things in place, just, you know, understand that that's what people are looking at. People who may have funding, people who may want to work with you, they're going to want to see that you have some kind of presence out there. You know, you don't have to have millions, but <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree, Deb, 100%. And and one thing I do tell people, like I know they go through, you know, which sites are better for you, but I feel yes. like this. Every site is free. Mm. That's free advertisement for you. Mm. So even if it's not your direct market, somebody on there is seeing it, and they can refer it to somebody that is your target market. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, you might want to be on one more that has your your more immediate target market, but I think just being on them all and just posting stuff, it's still good. It's getting your brand recognition. People are seeing that, you know, what you're doing. And then they're, people might not always tag you and say, hey, oh, I like this. A lot mm-hmm. of people are watching you that you don't even know. I mean, I've had big companies start following me. I mean, mm-hmm. huge companies. And I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, they're watching mm-hmm. me. They actually like my page. Mm-hmm. You know, so you never know who's watching you. And sometimes it could be a year before someone you know, you, you get some, some contacts out of that or a contract, which mm-hmm. I have. I mean, I've gotten stuff from LinkedIn. People have mm-hmm. hired me. I've gotten people coming to my events from Instagram. I've gotten things from Facebook. So don't, you know, don't uh, get it twisted that all of these sites are going to be beneficial in the long run. It's mm-hmm. just really just proving, you know, who your brand is and who you are. And if you are legit, that's what people are looking for. So take advantage of all these platforms. That's just my little thought. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, though. You're, you're right. You really have to uh, put yourself out there. And even if you say, well, I don't know which ones, you know, just pick one. Pick two. Just <laughs> just do the best you can uh, with it. And, and you never know what that will lead to. But if anything else, whatever you're doing, uh, that you may be applying for, maybe you want to try to do some kind of a contest or competition or something. Mm-hmm. They're going to ask about that. They're going to look at that. So just keep that in mind as well. If you are looking at 
possibly have been funding and connecting with with people like that at some level, then they're also going to look at that as well. So it's just something for you uh, to keep in mind if you're someone who's kind of reluctant as far as uh, that kind of presence. You really have to look at, at the big picture, I think. And also, Sharon, you have tea meditation, which I think is excellent. Yeah, that's an extension of our tea wellness program. With our tea wellness, we're teaching people how tea is processed, the health benefits of tea, but also how to implement tea within their daily life so they can live a healthier and happier lifestyle and be more prosperous as well. Mm. Um, What we're doing with the tea meditation, however, that's like a little bit more personal and it's Mm -hmm. going within your soul and just searching, finding out what is my purpose? You know, why am I here? But it's also taking time for self. A lot of times we are always thanking others and being grateful to others. But some of us, I'm not saying all of us, some of us are not thankful and grateful to ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're not pulling out, what are my skills? What am I good at? You know, so when you take the time with tea, so I use flavored teas. When you smell it, take a deep breath, you exhale slowly. You can feel some of the stress and overwhelm just coming off. But then it's Mm -hmm. just going to give you time, whether it's in the morning. I like to do it in the morning. So I can say, you know, I'm being grateful to God and I'm being grateful for, for me mm-hmm. because I'm a person, I'm very giving to others. So I have to be grateful about that because, you know, being helpful to others is a big deal. It really is one word that you say to someone or just smiling at someone or saying hello to someone that can change people's lives. You have no idea mm-hmm. that someone could have been depressed. Somebody could have been thinking about killing themselves. But because you were nice to them or you said something or smiled at them, made them feel valuable. So this is where it, it, you, you're turning it on yourself and being grateful for who you are as a person. And mm-hmm. that's the intimate thing that we, we do with the tea meditation to just help you to focus on who you are, being thankful, and just trying to live a better lifestyle for yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what the tea meditation um, piece is about. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. You know, that's the kind of thing that people um, are looking for, I think, particularly now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I said, you know, it's not all just about selling. It's all about empowerment. That's hmm. what, you know, it, it should be. No matter what we do in life with our businesses, it should be some empowerment with people, giving mm-hmm. some tips that can help people. You don't have to sell everything. You know, right. you can give away some things as well. So just sharing nice empowering and and positive words or you know encouragement to people Mm -hmm. i think that just takes you such a long way and that's what's going to set you apart from other companies is that people are going to see your compassion and and things that you really care about other people too besides Mm -hmm. just money because there's a lot of companies out there the bottom line for them is money they don't want to do anything they don't want to share anything they ain't helping you they ain't going to give their hand you know you have to give stretch your hand out and help other people and that it just comes full circle right back. And that's my belief. Mm. Well, that's yeah. an excellent point. You know, when we both worked um, <laughs> at at and for a while. Oh, yes. So we definitely, you know, you were, you were at many um, large, large corporations. So, um, you know, we kind of understand that whole corporate view um, is a totally different kind of scene than um uh, Mm-hmm. The entrepreneur and, and particularly the, I think the woman entrepreneur who's just trying to get something going for herself and, and maybe, you know, for her family and everything. It's, it's a totally different mindset, totally different space. So, right. Yeah. yeah that, that's an excellent point. And also you've been yeah. getting your teas into different cafes. Can you share something about yeah. that? Yes, yes. So at the left, Delisa is, she is carrying some teas there. I'm also going to be doing, I'd also do custom blends for different uh, companies. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be a cafe. It could just be maybe it's a service company. Uh, it could be a realtor. It could be any anyone that has clients and you want to want give them nice gifts or when you have meetings with your clients and you want to serve them something that's a little bit more than the store brand, I can actually custom blend a nice uh, tea for you that you can actually have and carry and just serve to your clients and or give us gifts as well. So, you know, that's another part of the business that um, that we have as well. Mm-hmm. And that's a great yeah. idea, too, because something like that is always, you know, I mean, your teas are, are delicious and just, 
just special and and you know sometimes you just want to have that nice cup of tea and the end of the day and and just having that aroma and everything it's just different than the normal um experience that you would have if you just you know got a regular store bought <laughs> tea bag <laughs> <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a different thing altogether. It just makes you feel good, and it's not something that you have to spend thousands and millions of dollars to, to right. feel. <laughs> but, but you know, Deb, on that note, when when I talk to people about the tea experience, because again, I tell people, listen, I'm not just selling you the tea. I am selling you the entire experience. I did something, I do some things for, for the libraries and I did something called I Am Beautiful where the kids, you know, created collages and we talk about, you know, how beautiful they are from within and they write out all the things about themselves that they love. Mm-hmm. Uh, we always start with tea. So the librarian, I said, well, you didn't have a chance to have some tea. So why don't you just sit and have some of the two different teas that we had? So she sat and she drank it and then she left, went back to her desk and then she came back. She goes, oh my goodness. I am a coffee drinker and I had that tea and it just made me feel so good. Like I just want more of that tea. Can Mm. I buy some tea from you now? (laughs) So it was just so wonderful to hear that, that here she is a coffee drinker, but just sitting there for that, like I told her, sit here and just enjoy your tea. Mm. And she sat there and she, it just made such a difference. And when you hear people say that, you know, you really feel good because that's really what, my mission is to let people feel wonderful about themselves and just taking time to let the stress just roll right off. That's really mm-hmm. what it's about. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm very passionate and very excited about my company and, and what we offer in terms of empowerment and, and just getting people to appreciate and value who they are and, mm-hmm. and their clients, you know, valuing other people as well. So that's really what taking tea and style is all about. So. Mm-hmm. You know. That's, yeah. you know me I'm passionate <laughs> well that that's a wonderful um, idea uh, that you expressed because it is the experience that's the thing that makes it different than anything else you know it's not just mm-hmm. oh I'm just going to have this tea but it helps make you feel and you feel pampered and you can just relax and enjoy and that's something that I think anybody can really really appreciate in their day um, but they could feel like they could feel special because they have this thing, you know. And I think that's that's also a good thing you brought up because it's it's part of what people do when they do branding, you know. They they want to create that different thing that's unique. Yeah. You know, to what they're yeah, doing. For sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it, it doesn't sound like just anything else. Or why should I do this if I could just go by? You know, go to the store. Well, no, this is we're giving you a whole other experience here that you can have. And it really is something that can help you to feel better. Or you can meditate or you can relax. And, and, you know, that's all the things that I think, um, you know, the listeners can, can learn from who may feel like, Oh, how can I stand out in, in what I'm doing? And, you know, that's, that's a great example of how you could do that and really, res- yeah, respond to your, your people to see what they're looking for and what, what, what they like and what they want more of. Right. Definitely. Right. Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. well, I just, you know, I want to say thank you so much to score and Sam's club, you know, for this great experience of going to Reno, Nevada and getting this, this, uh, you know, fully paid training, and I am just really excited for the second part of this journey to go and win that 15. It's, it's already mine, like I said. <laughs> win the $15,000. It's going to help my business um, to go on further than it is now. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. And just, you know, it's like, bring it on. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's, you know, let's, get, let's get on some more shows. <laughs> get some more business. As a matter of fact, I just got a contract with PNC Bank. Or Wednesday for their woman um, empowerment, we're going to have a tea party for them in Newark. So I'm really excited about that that contract, and That's you know I'm wonderful. trying to get more corporate. And, and here it is, right after my training, <laughs> I got the contract. So it's amazing, you know, what can happen to you when you do really do the homework and just have the passion and the patience and just everything you need to do 
um, right. to, to go on to the next level. So I'm really thankful and grateful. Well, that's fantastic. And, and again, you know, something for the listeners to learn from because you really want to see how you can grow uh, beyond where you are right now. You know, you don't just want to create a job for yourself. You want to see where I can take this to. And, um, you know, some people want to take it to the point where they can sell it and others, you know, maybe want to, to take it where they can leave it to their children or whoever. Yeah. Uh, they may want to come in and take over. But, you know, if you look at the bigger picture, then that can give you some kind of incentive as to where you really want to head with what you're doing. And it, it can really empower you to see it can be bigger than you may be thinking right now. Um, you know, that's the thing to really consider. So, Sharon, I, you know, think we've been uh, chatting for almost an hour and you really could, could no. uh, talk a lot more because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we definitely could. Yeah. Cause this is always a, a topic and, and also hearing about what you're doing is always uh, something I think people can really benefit from. But, you know, what do you, what do you have any, you know, final thoughts, um, you know, on what we've, we've been talking about? You know, just, you know, live your dream. Live it, you know, don't let anyone stop you from dreaming and living it. Don't get in your own way. A lot of times we get in our own way, but my, my philosophy is dream it, speak it, live it. Mm, that's it. <laughs> those three, <laughs> those three words. Live it. I mean, dream it, speak it, and live it. You got to do it. Just go for it. Definitely words of wisdom <laughs> for all of us. For all of us to to hear because people, you know, want to really put their stuff out there and not sure how they can do it and feeling like they can't and they don't have all the means and I just wanted to add you know in line with what you're saying I had recently seen a um a movie on Amazon and I actually followed the person on Twitter and he filmed the entire movie on iPhone mm. and you wouldn't have known that when you saw it it's not right. like you you wouldn't have known it and it, it, he said it at the end. I like I had seen it because I'd seen his tweets. But if I hadn't known that, it's nothing about that movie would have told me that until they stated it at the end. And yeah. you know, I mean, you can buy a lens for maybe thirty dollars and and really inexpensive things that you can purchase if you were like, you know, I want to make this movie or I want to film this thing I made or you can do that so inexpensively. Um, put it out there, YouTube, whatever, whatever, <laughs> Vimeo, you know, wherever you want to post it. So you don't have to have tons of money. You don't have to have super polished production as a lot of these people do out here that you may not realize they do. <laughs> you think you don't have to do that. Um, people aren't going to judge you because you just, you know, make your effort and put put your stuff out there so the, the you know I say that to say that you can take that one thing that you do and, and really try to expand on that the best that you can with what the tools that you have and right now you know as Sharon has done um, you know do what you can with what you have in front of you in this moment and see what other right. things are going on out there of the competitions and things and who knows what could be out there for you right now so um, even if you're not sure, just kind of keep an open mind and, um, you know, just see what's out there for you. So I think that's something we could all learn from uh, from this conversation. So, uh, yes. Sharon, I'm so glad you could come back on the show. It's been such a long time. Oh, yes. so. <laughs> I know, for sure. Thank you for having me again, girl. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. I just was so excited for uh, for you to uh, be in that competition and, and for you to really have all of the opportunities. So I'm really glad you can come and share that with everybody. It, I really appreciate yes. it. Yeah, thank you. And I will be back when I win that $15,000. So I can talk <laughs> about that too. Yes. <laughs> so stay tuned, <laughs> Stay tuned. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, because we want to hear we want to hear the next part. <laughs> yes, for sure. We want to hear the, the work next is part. not over yet. Right, right. 
we want to hear what <laughs> happened after after you got the check. So we're looking forward yes. to hearing the part that part um, of the story. So um, you know, once again, thank you uh, for joining me. And um, you know, everyone, I know you enjoyed this. So please make sure you share it on social media. Uh, visit uh, Sharon's website. Check out her social media. And also, you know, just really recommend this to other people who may be themselves looking for what they can do right now and, and aren't sure uh, as far as building their brand and, you know, let them learn some some things from that and, and possibly see what competitions they can enter and things they can do to help them um, that they may not be aware of out there. So please make sure you do that. And um, once again, so Women Entrepreneurs Radio with your host, Deborah Bailey. So glad you could join me. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Thanks for joining us. You can also join in the conversation on Facebook.com slash Women Entrepreneurs and on the website, WomenEntrepreneurSecrets.com. And don't forget to listen in on DVCoach.Podomatic.com and on iTunes.